Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. How are you all? I'm doing a bit of a, 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 a just an easy, 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 easy um, project today. As much as I love the hot sunny weather, <laughs> it's very hot today. So I've just finished work and I just thought I would um, just relax doing some of these jewellery dangles for a while and um, I thought why not put the camera on so you can see what I'm doing. I'm a bit out of breath because I've just run from upstairs. So I'll do these, I'll make these. Lots of different attachments to them. In fact I don't know where all my little tassels are. I'm, uh, to dig them out I haven't got them with me today but these are really good fun for putting on your handbags on your purses just on the belts for your, your jeans anything like that really I love making these they're so, so much fun so relaxing There's lots of different beads on them you can get glass beads plastic beads whichever you like absolutely gorgeous and then there's, i've got a few more i've got a big white one somewhere i don't know where that is it's probably in one of my bags somewhere uh, this little purple one as well lots of different attachments to them really good fun to make i also make ones with um ribbons as well and wool and sari silk and put them in my books so i've made this big one for my bible which i really love i think that's really good fun that tassel and i've also got this um just keep my page this bookmark as well which i make for it's laminated so i've been i haven't been made, making those for a while i need to make some more of those i've run out it's my, down to my last bookmark so yeah i also make fabric dangles as well for my books so it's all good fun you don't need a lot of supplies for these either i just started with a few little beads for, for pennies and um just gradually over time built up different colors and i've got a, a box boxes like these that are sectioned for pink i've got a box for blue a box for green all different colours, um, but I, I did gradually build them up a little bit at a time. But um, you can buy sets on Amazon. You can buy them from in England, Hobbycraft. So I would imagine places like Hobby Lobby and that in America sell loads. I'm not sure if Michaels and Joannes do, but I'm sure you know there's craft stores everywhere in there that sell these beads. I've just got the plastic ones because I find the glass ones are really expensive. Um, so I just buy sets of plastic ones. And sometimes I just go to Hobbycraft and pick a few up for a few pennies um, just to add to my collection sometimes. So it's not something I spend a lot of money on because we have a frugal life, you know, as, as you know. But and I haven't bought any for years because I don't make them that often. I just sometimes make them for gifts. Um, for friends, for like little birthday gifts and things like that, or a stocking filler for Christmas. I'm sorry if I'm wiping my face down. I'm absolutely melting here. Absolutely melting. Um, and I'm sat in the living room where it's shaded now because the sun is around the back. There's no sun coming in the front now and I'm still melting. <laughs> so never mind. We'll see how we get on. And uh, we'll try and make a, a dangle with you today. See See how it goes. Like I said, I haven't made one for a while, so I'm a bit rusty. But um, I'll look at one of my dangles for reference. Try and remember how I made it. <laughs> there we go. I'll put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. So first of all, I'm just going to start with this little... Can you see this lobster claw hook? There we go. So I'll just start with that to begin with. And I'll move the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. Just Move it down a little bit there. There we go. So, move you back a tad so you can see. Just to excuse all my stuff in the back here. I've um, 
I've got some um, sewing stuff down there and I've just covered it with a tablecloth just to try and kind of disguise it a little bit because I don't like clutter. Um, but daughter's coming home from university this week so I've taken all the stuff out of her bedroom that I was storing. I've got a few craft items in there I was storing so I've taken them out and just put them in that corner. What well, my husband does, he's put them in there for me. So... Um, I didn't want any of my craft stuff in her bedroom when she comes back. I wanted to be able to relax and uh, just en enjoy being home for, for a while. Right, so what, what did I do with this? How did I first start this off? Right. Okie dokie. Oh, I used some wire, which I don't have wire on me today. So what I will have to do... If I can find, I'm going to look for a head pin that has, I've got one in rose gold, but I want one in silver. I wonder, they don't have any hooks on them either. Let me see what I can do. So, I think what I'll do. You'll excuse me while ah, I found some. Here we go, in my green box. I wanted a head pin. Oh, these are very bad bent, aren't they? It has like a an eye. Can you just see that? Don't know if that's gonna focus. So that is what I was looking for. There we go. Just move those out of the way. So all I'm going to do, oh, I'm absolutely melting, guys. I don't know how you're coping with this heat. Hope you're all okay. Hope you like the heat. My husband doesn't mind at all. I used to be great in the heat. It's only in these last couple of years. As I've been uh, starting with my menopause, I've really struggled. Oh, I think there's somebody at the door. I'll be back in a moment. Right, so, sorry about that, there's some, I thought there was something at the door. Dogs are about to go crazy. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this lobster hook. I don't think the boys are going to, the dogs are going to let me do this today, you know. They've been frantic this week. Driving me nuts. Just try and get into these little... few of these little circles out, these little rings, I don't know if you can see those, can you? There we go, it's for different sizes. So I'm going to do, with my pliers, is, where my other pliers? Oh, I've lost a certain... I've got um, different players than that. I don't know where they are. I have to have a look for them. They're like curved. And what we do is when we separate this ring, we don't kind of pull it apart like that. We kind of just twist it forward and backwards like that so we don't uh, weaken the strength of the ring. So I've lost my favourite players. I'm going to have to... This is going to be a struggle for me. There we go. So I've just opened that up. And I'm just going to pop it on here. And then I'm going to pop this with the, the eye. Can you see that on there as well? There we go. I'm just going to close that up so it meets again. There we go. I need to get um, a kind of tripod where I can have the camera above and you're looking down on it that would be better wouldn't it you'd be able to see better what i was doing I'll try and close that up a bit there we go so now i'm just going to add some beads to this very randomly very randomly indeed and then I'll need to twist it round so I can put this chain on it. So first of all, I'll probably start with a 
small bead to begin with. I mean, it really doesn't matter. You can just put on here whatever you want, really. Oh, that's the same. Let's have a look if I've got a... There we go, that'll do. So that's cute. And then a slightly bigger one. That's nice, isn't it? Just gradually getting bigger. Or you could put a statement piece on. You could have something like that on it. That would look nice, wouldn't it, instead? With a tiny bead at either side. That would be pretty. Or something like that. Let's just grab a bit more about it. That would be nice as well. So then what I'm going to do... Is I'm just going to turn this around to make it oh I could get another pearl on there though to be honest with you let's get another one on there let's have a look at is that going to be too big and not leave me with enough space that's really pretty though isn't it but I think what I'd have to do hmm just not enough i could get away with trying to make that curl over though couldn't i should be enough space there i'm just going to yeah i'm just going to think like i said i haven't done this for about a year or two so i'm a little bit out of practice guys a little bit out of practice but i'm just turning that into a circle like that So that I can attach a ring at the end. Probably be better with these pliers. It, it doesn't help when you haven't got the pliers that you normally would use either. Because you get used to a certain kind, don't you? But anyway, that's in a nice circle now. I just want to straighten it up a little bit. There we go. That's lovely. And then I'm just going to get another one of these. Try and get a smaller one actually. So we'll cut me these rings. Oh, that's perfect. Can find the opening for it, and then probably need some uh, new glasses soon, guys. So you can see what I'm doing. There we go. So I've just opened that ring up. That can you see? I'm just going to pop it on there, like so. There we go. And then I'm going to pop this chain on before I close it up. There we go. Sorry about my nails, guys. I, I've done my nails the other week. I put some poly gel. Uh, I don't apologize. I do have a fantastic, amazing friend who does nails. Who I will only go to her. She's incredible. But it's just finding time to get to go and see her. So recently, I've just been. Oh, look at state of me. Recently, I've just been doing my own, just poly gel nails really quickly. And the other week, I'd done them, but they were coming off the other day. So they've left my nails in a right mess. Terrible. And uh, so yeah, if, if you see if you see the state of my nails and you wonder why they're such a mess, it's because I've uh, I've been just having poly gel nails on. <laughs> they're a bit like a cross between acrylic and gel. I don't know if you've seen them uh, advertise the poly gels. I love them, but I would rather go to my friend uh, Sarah who does nails. But hey ho, I can't. I just I'm struggling to find time at the moment with everything that's going on. Right, my darlings, that's what we've got up to up to now. I mean, that looks pretty already, doesn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. You could use this as a keyring, couldn't you? You, could, you really could have this as a keyring. So all I'm going to do now is get little head pins like this that have a flat, a flat head. They just look like a nail. 
and I've just put a tiny little silver bead on the end of that and then all you do is you build up whatever you want on there so I would put something different on each one and then or you don't even have to use these head pins what you could do as an alternative which I've just thought why am I not doing that instead um oh gosh sorry guys I'm just no we will stick with the head pins I, no I've changed my mind we will stick with the head pins because they're good fun and I like doing it this way it just adds to it a little bit more um it's popping all sorts of different beads on I don't know if you can see that box with all these beads. I'm just trying to select a few of these. Um, I think when you've got quite a few, you're spot for choice, aren't you? Really. So I'll just have... Oh, that's gorgeous. I think I might want it that way. So you've got these all. And they are, they are only plastic. Um, they are a lot nicer when you choose glass beads, I must admit, but I really do love having the, um, you know, being able to make up the different colours, really. But you can just be really, really random. And you don't have to stick to the same colour scheme either. You can just choose a, a multicoloured one, couldn't you? So then I'm just going to turn this around. Bend it out. Sorry, I just pinched myself then. That wasn't very clever of me, was it? I've been very clumsy. Right, what I'm going to do is just pinch, pinch that closed. I really do need to treat myself to some more of those pliers that have a curve in them because they're so much easier to use. There we go. Just grab. Grab that, straighten it up a little bit. And then we're just going to pop one of these little circles on again. So that we can attach it to the chain. There we go. So grab that, pop that in there, like so. And then you can just put it wherever you want on the chain. So I'm just going to pop that at the top for now. Just close that. So that's the first little... little um, section you put on the chain and then you just build up and build up and build up till you've put on as many as you want you can have as many or as little as you want really and then I think I might just pop like a little little rolls on one that's cute isn't it so we'll have where's the holes for that oh there it is has um isn't that beautiful, that rose? Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to have a teeny, a teeny bead, a teeny weeny bead on the other side, just like that. And again, you're just making that nice and round at the top so that you can add it to the chain and I'm just going to use one of these tiny little rings to do that with bear with so I'm trying to find the the opening so guys the um, videos might be a little more thin on the ground at the moment, as I did say to you, didn't have the other week. I'm just in a, a bit of a difficult season at the moment with one thing and another, uh, with family and things like that that's going on. There's lots and lots of things going on at the moment. And I'm going on, I am actually going away for a bit of a holiday in a couple of weeks as, as well. That circle didn't want to go on. Let me just get a slightly bigger one. My husband and I have decided we're going away. We managed to get a real bargain 
and guys as you know i'm a very frugal person but that doesn't mean we do without we we still do try and you know have some sort of a holiday because even if it's only just a few days away in a caravan you know there's nothing wrong with that either we have bagged a bargain um to go to tenerife for one week it's a ridiculous price and it would have been stupid for us to turn it down it's something we you know we have saved for we, we, we never get into debt for anything like that we never would and um not for a holiday but um yeah so we are going to be going away in a couple of weeks so what i'm going to try and do is grab a few pictures and maybe hopefully some videos that i can just put together for you while we're away um i will be having family stopping here at the house looking after my house and my dogs while we are away so everything's nice and secure on that front and uh i've got family in this town as well that will other family in this town as well got some family stopping here other family in the town live here as well that's looking after the place making sure the family that are here looking after the dogs are okay as well and uh yeah it's it's something we very much need i think after the last last few weeks of of one thing and another um illness and other things um we're, we're very much looking forward to just getting away and having a break and not having to think about work you know not having to think about making tea <laughs> not having to think about doing the dishes you know the housework the laundry it, just for one week it's going to be bliss isn't it so um we decided that's it we're going away i don't care we don't care we're just throwing caution to the wind and having a, having a break i think sometimes it's something you have to do isn't it just to stop yourself getting too bogged down with the serious of seriousness of life sometimes you've got to throw caution to the wind and say excuse me to hell with it i'm going away so we're having a break in a couple of weeks and um like i said i will try and get some some little holiday pics and stuff up for you and uh, some little fun snippets for you um take you along with me that'd be good fun wouldn't it and uh yeah just a little update for you and then in in um get this for bag in a bargain though in september uh we've got a little caravan holiday in wales can't wait because wales is my favorite place i absolutely love wales um for me there's no nicer place on earth i absolutely adore wales but um we found a holiday we were just we weren't really looking so much i don't think as do you know when you're just browsing not expecting to find see anything and we saw this holiday online uh we're we're a reputable holiday company that we've we've used before and touch wood we've never had any problems either um just a little caravan holiday for four days five days something wait five five days something like that i think and uh, it was £175. So I'm like, that's brilliant because September will, you know, the holiday we've got going in a couple of weeks will be a distant memory, won't it? So I thought, right, we're, we're definitely having that. So we will have had two holidays this year, which isn't very frugal, but it is if you're getting it really inexpensively. Because I dread to think what I, what I see people paying for holidays these days. And I think, no, you know, I could never imagine, like, say, for example, I know some people have to do it because they have to go in school holidays, don't they? I don't have to do that. I'm very fortunate. But I cannot imagine, like, spending £3,000 on a holiday. Like some people do. And I think, oh, gosh, that must be so awful for you having to, you know. I mean, I know you could choose not to go away. 
But when you really, really want to take your kids away and you're having to spend like £3,000 on a holiday, it's awful, isn't it? So, yeah, bag the boy again and um, very much looking forward to it. It's very much needed, I can tell you. But I think everybody's feeling like that at the moment, aren't they? I think everyone needs a break. So that's another one. Those are cute. That's so cute. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see that. Okay. Try to get it so you can see it against the pale back, plain background. You'll see it better when it's all together though, won't you guys? So yeah, I thought two holidays this year. We're being spoiled, aren't we? But when you see something like that for like 175 quid, you think, I'm not. I'm not passing that opportunity up. No way. No way. So, here we go. So, just thought I'd give you a bit of an update that you might not be seeing much of me over the next couple of weeks. But I will try. I will be trying to put stuff up for you for more holidays. There we go. Bit of a bit of a challenge but I'll, I'll do my best and I've got these little charms as well that I always think look really cute so I might just put one of those on as well I think that'll look nice to you and I might just put a made with love on because you know when I do make stuff like this I do make it with love like everything I make it's always made with love even if it turns out rubbish it's still been made with love I don't know if any of you try, have tried those scrappy bookmarks yet. I've just given one to my friend last a few days ago, and it really it did put a, a lovely smile on her face. I was so thrilled. It's nice to make people smile, isn't it? it? Doesn't have to cost the earth to make somebody smile. Just a, a, a nice gesture, just to let somebody know that's who you were thinking of when you was making that that item. So I put a little heart here that says, oh, I don't know if that's going to focus. Made with love. It's so cute. So I'll pop that up here where there's a little gap. And I think it's one of those things as well. If you put plenty on that. Oh, that on the if you put plenty on it, you, you see something different every time you look at it, don't you? You might not have necessarily noticed it to begin with. There we go so sweet and then i'll just pop one at the bottom to just make it a bit because that's not as chunky as these ones it's a bit oh drop some feed that's not as chunky as the other ones is it it's a little bit more delicate but that's the beauty about these things you can make them whatever size you want really can't you so let's find a nice charm to put on the bottom i like this store what do you think of that store that's cute isn't it we'll have that one we will have that one, but we'll have it on a slightly larger ring so that. There we go. And then we'll just find the bottom of this chain if we can. Where are you? Hmm. No, then I've lost you. Lost the bottom of this chain now. Oh, there you are. There you are. Pop that. On there. I, I think I would use that as a little keyring. I mean, there's still some chains free. You could put some more dangles on yet. Because there's still quite a few chains here that are free. I don't know if you can see those. A couple of, a couple of loose chains there that are free chains. You could put a dangle on. I've got one more pin. I've had to just put one more on. Just to add to it a little bit. Slightly different colour, I think. I haven't used this colour yet. That's a really bright summery pink. That's gorgeous, that. And then... The Karma pink on there. Where are you going? There we go. So sweet, isn't it? I love making stuff like this. It's so much fun. And 
Right, let's pop one more on. Just to... Oh yeah, I like that. And a round nose poppers. And then just turn that into a nice circle there. Pop another little ring on there. Oh, let me see what is that gone. Yes, yeah, so I'm really, really busy this week, guys. I've got um prayer meeting at church tonight if I'm well enough to go. At the moment, I'm not feeling well enough, but if I start feeling better, I will be going to the prayer meeting at church tonight. Then tomorrow afternoon, as soon as I finish work, I'm dashing over to church for the Bible study uh, in the afternoon. So I won't see you tomorrow, guys, because by the time I get home from there, it'll be start making tea and get everything done. So I will try and get another video up in the next couple of days for you. Because I do miss you when I'm not doing videos. I really do miss you guys and I do like to keep up with you all. So yeah, tomorrow's Bible study. I twisted that. But this isn't for a gift. This is only just for me, for my keyring. So I'm not going to, to worry too much about that. So I'll try possibly... Thursday to get a video up to you because or Friday because Saturday I'm picking the the child up from uni and then we're, we're having to get her all, all moved this year as well because she's moving out of uni digs to her own place uh, to her own like uni flat if you will off campus this year so cute isn't it i love that so much it's a nice little key ring or you can put it on your bag or your purse it's really up to you guys isn't it let me just lift you up a little bit right trying to send you too dizzy Ooh. where are you there you go hello so yeah um so I'll be, I will be um, really busy on, that's not closing. I don't know what I've done to that. I think I've broken my box, won't close. I'll have a look at that later. Yeah, so I'm busy tomorrow and then I'll, like I said, Thursday or Friday, I'll probably do another video. Um, and then Saturday, I'll be busy all day uh, picking the child up from uni. And, uh, well, one of the children, one of the five that we have. And um, Sunday, I'll be church all day because, as you know, we go in the morning and then we're back again in the afternoon. For Bible study, so Sunday's really taking up the church all day, as it should be for us, because, you know, I do like a day of rest. I do like the Sabbath. There, done it. I do like to uh, to do nothing on a Sunday if I can help it, with it being the Sabbath for us. So Sunday will be Sabbath. Um, next week, I will try and get a couple of videos out to you before we go on holiday. And then I'll try and get some clips of our holiday for you as well. Um, just so that you, I can say hi to you because I will be missing you all. And then what will I be doing? Hopefully back, hopefully by the time I come back off my holidays, I will have a little bit more time, touch wood, to do more videos like I've intended to get back to how, you know, how regular they used to be. Um, and then we'll take it from there. I'll, I will try and be doing more regular videos for you then by the time I come home and I'm well rested. Hopefully. So yeah, that's today's video, my lovely friends. A little bead dangle. And I think next time I do a video with you, I'm going to just do one of these like ribbon ones with you. One of these ribbon tassels because I love these. They, they are my favourite to make i do love making those and it's not as 
strenuous on my eyes as of making these because I need some new glasses. <laughs> so yeah, I'll I'll do one of these with you next time. And you can put all sorts on. Like I've just plaited some wool there. I've done a few. I think I've put a few of these on different colours, different lengths. And then this is your sari silk, which I love sari silk. These are just scraps of sari silk off eBay that you can get for next to nothing. And it's just the scraps from where the saris were made. Proper sari silk. It's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it's so cheap to buy on eBay. Just buy a bundle, a small bundle of sari silk absolutely gorgeous so i'll make one of these with you next time friends you don't have to add beads like i've done i don't i don't usually add beads i just decided to add beads on this one for a change and then if you can see where the, the spine is i've actually just um used some very strong uh red liner tape to attach into the spine of the book there so easy to do um yeah so that'll be the next next project to do together so i hope you keep keeping well my lovely friends and um just for now i will say goodbye god bless take care stay safe and i'll see you soon bye for now